Hello, and welcome to Art with Miss Michelle. Happy Earth Day, happy Earth Week. Today I'm going to show you how to make a Earth collage in honor of Earth Day. So for this project, you'll need some paper. Um, I have white, but any light color will do. Some old magazines to cut up for your collage. And something round to trace. So this is how I'm going to get the shape of my Earth. So I want a nice round edge and I want it to take up most of my paper. So it doesn't really matter what it is, a bowl, a plate, I have a palette, a lid to a pan, as long as it's round, it should work just fine. And I have a green and a blue colored pencil to trace my earth. Um, a regular pencil would be fine too. Some scissors for cutting up my magazines and some glue sticks. Okay, so I'm going to start out by tracing my round object for my earth shape. So I'm just going to put this right in the middle, and I'm going to hold it with my hand that I'm not drawing with. And then I'm going to use my blue pencil to trace all the way around the edge. And that's going to give me the outline. Now for the continents. If you've done some map work, you probably know how to draw the continents really well. If you want to do a different shape, you could do that too. It will still look like the earth. Um, I think I'm going to do a heart for my shape in here. You could do a heart, you could do a little house, you could just do the regular continents. I might do a heart and then just have some other continents around the edges. Um, be creative here, whatever you want to do for your shapes. I'd love to see your work when it's done. Um, now I'm going to get some different blue and green things to glue on here. So I'm just going to look through my magazines. Any magazines should work. I just have this Tosco magazine. And when I find something blue, I can just start cutting out little pieces to use to glue on. So I might want to go through and find some different colors of blue. If I find one big blue page, I could just use that, but I might find some smaller pieces, which would be cool to get a few different shades of blue and some different textures. So I'm going to want blue for my water and green for my land. And I can just cut it into kind of random shapes. I don't want them to be too small. I want them to be small enough so that I can glue them onto my shapes, but not so small that it takes me a million years to glue everything on. Okay, so I have all my green and blue pieces cut out. I found lots of different shades and different textures. Um, I actually found some pictures of plants and grass and stuff for my green, so I think that'll be really cool. So I'm just gonna get my glue stick and start gluing these on. So I'm gonna put my glue on this paper. It's gonna be way too hard if I try to put it on all these little pieces. So I'm just gonna do one area, not too much of an area, so my glue won't dry, but I'll just get some glue on and start putting my pieces on. And if they're not exactly the right shape, if they stick out a little bit, it's okay, but I can overlap these and just start covering my area here with my glue. And I'm going to try to mix my different colors so I don't have all the same color together and it's going to start to look really cool when I start piecing these all together so 
so it's going to take some time, but I'm just going to start filling these areas in, and once that's done, I'll have a cool picture. So after that, I'll just put some more glue on. I decided to do my oceans first. So that when I do my heart shape, um, it'll look like it's on top of the blue. Otherwise, the blue is going to start overlapping onto the green. So if I do the blue first, then I can make the green cover that when I start putting it on. And it's okay if I have a little bit of white showing. Um, if I don't want the white showing, I can just overlap it more so I don't see that at all, but I think it'll look just fine. And I'm having pretty good luck fitting these together. Um, if you need to trim some of these down, you can to fit better, but I'm not going to worry about it too much because I already spent a lot of time cutting these up. Now, if you don't have old magazines to cut up, or if you don't want to take the time to go through them, you could just color this in with crayon or colored pencil or use paint. It's up to you. Um, I just think the collage looks cool with all the different textures. Okay, so once I have all my blue pieces on there, I'm just going to do the same thing with my green pieces, fill everything in. Um, it's kind of fun to try to fit all the pieces together. Sometimes if they don't fit, if you turn it a little bit, it'll fit just right. And then I'm just going to overlap these a little bit so they cover the blue.
Okay, so here's my finished collage. That was pretty fun to make. Um, once again, happy Earth Day. I always like to plant a tree for Earth Day. That's my Earth Day tradition. If you don't already have an Earth Day tradition, I would encourage you to start one this year. Um, it doesn't have to be something as big as planting a tree. I know not everyone can do that every year, but you could plant a couple of seeds, make a little pollinator garden. Um, even if you live in an apartment, you could just have one flower pot with a few beneficial uh, plants for pollinating insects. You could pick up some garbage around your neighborhood or just do something, anything nice for the earth. Um, maybe even just like try to turn off your lights for the day or anything. I'd love to hear what your ideas are if you want to post, um, if you already have a tradition or if you're starting a new tradition or you could email me and let me know. I'd love to hear it. So um, I hope you like this project and happy collage making.